Well, they're out there digging, these dirt dogs. The SA Labor Party and their kingmakers, the unions, have launched their attack ads. Truly a boring and yet expected ploy from them. When you're up against the wall, attack, attack, and attack some more, especially with polling day now so close. That's all they know, but it is ever so boring and predictable. The government employs over 400 journalists, and in the past two months, they, along with the unions, have been digging the dirt up on the Liberals and SA Best. Labor's number one strategy is to scare the bejesus out of the population, whilst at the same time throw the mud, knowing some of it will stick. They troll around in candidates' personal lives looking for anything, doesn't matter how small, to mould into an advert bomb. They call in favours to attack on all fronts. Even Wreckfish SA has joined in the fray, slamming the Liberal fishing policy because the Libs have vowed to take away their peak status. The unions look to the commercial fishing sector for inspiration because they know how good they are at getting their own way and spinning science and facts like a toy top. But let's look at what the dirt dogs would do if let loose on behalf of us wreck fishers. They'd probably start off with targeting Leon Bignall, the fisheries minister. He said he'd never cut bag limits, but he slashed them, wrong. He believed 40 crabs a day was too many, wrong. He cut you back to 20 and gave the pros an extra 50 tonnes, wrong. He wants you to eat polluted imported fish whilst he sends the good stuff interstate. Wrong. So why does this man get it so wrong? He's out of touch with working South Australians. That's if you can find anyone with a job. The dirt dogs would then turn their attention to Premier Jay Weatherall and have a field day because there's been so much wrong with his leadership. He's just got rid of Lisa Blahos because the stench of Oakton is about to get worse. She fell on her sword. What about all the others who deserted the ship in the past 12 months because they held baggage that would inhibit Jay's thrust at a record term and could be called to account? Let's not forget the slogan on his bus, I fight for South Australians. Can you remember a battle he's actually won? He's lost the fight over our rights to water from the River Murray. New South Wales and Victoria sort of that last week. Remember he said he was standing up to the banks? Well, they shot him down in clear skies and not another murmur. What about the disasters with at-risk children in Shannon McCall? On his watch, Labor misled us big time. And wasn't it another minister who fell on her sword? It's a Japanese form of seppuku or harikari. We could go on because the list is endless. This Labor government has the stench on its hands similar to the good old boys in the Deep South. They'll do and say anything to keep in power because that's where the money is. Recreational fishers are encased in leathery skin because we're so used to this type of tactic. Ignore, brush them aside like crumbs on a table. Labor says, we have a very small band of brothers who we put in place to represent these fishers. We'll only listen to them and claim they represent 277,000. More disinformation, muddle the minds of the populace. It was a great ploy by a European dictator, wasn't it? When he said, if you tell the lie often enough, then the people will come to believe it as fact. That's what this Labour tactic is all about. You've got four weeks to make them believe it is fact. If you are convincing with a lot of scaremongering thrown in for good measure, then you'll probably win. That's what Jay is hoping for, along with the key holder of Davy Jones locker, Leon Bignall. They don't think you will remember, but they do expect you to believe their tripe. Wipe the dirt from your eyes and wash your hands of this dirt-digging labour machine and give us back our fishing rights.